Hello and welcome to another video here on Hypixel, yet this one will be a little bit different from my previous ones. Bedwars recently got an update here not too long ago and I thought I would make a relatively deep walkthrough of this update. So without further ado, hit like if you enjoy, hit subscribe and let's get into this. Pop-up tower. I guess we should start with the feature that I kinda wish Hypixel had not added into the game. Remember this video where they had added a new item, the pop-up tower? That wasn't permanent, it was added in the first week of the item rotations and was later followed up with a compact version for the ninth rotation. Guess what? The compact version of the pop-up tower is now a permanent item in the game across all game modes and costs only 24 iron. Personally, I guess I'm not a big fan nor at the point where I dislike it, but still not a fan. I just have a feeling that it just doesn't belong to Bitwars that much and if it really has to be there I feel like the price for it should be raised to maybe like 40 iron or something. But that's just my opinion. Anyways, it's there for those who love to use it. There you go. Voidless mode. A new game mode, Voidless. Are you done raging because you missed your jump and landed the void? Yeah, I hate that. Well, this game mode is for you. Sort of, because you can still die from focal damage. But anyways, this is basically a new game mode that can be played in 4v4v4v4 4v4 4v4 or doubles. They've added 4 unique maps to play this mode in. Also, all bits spawn with an already set up 3 layer bed defense made out of wood, wool and stained glass. Stained glass on the top, then wool and then wood. Along with Voidless, they are also working on a couple of more dream modes which are in the works that will be added at a later date if proven to be fun. New weekly rotation. They are starting a new weekly rotation starting with this update. It will be rotating modes each week instead of rotating at unknown times. I think that is very good. 4v4 mode. Remember the Bed Wars capture mode where there are two teams of four and there are points you can capture and reduce the team points and yeah, that game mode. Anyways, after taking feedback from the players, they realized players want it closer to classic Bed Wars experience. So now they are replacing capture mode with a 4v4 mode. It's that simple. Two teams of four players fight it out. Obsidian has been removed. Dragons are removed and replaced with a border that will shrink towards the end of the game. Being outside the border will deal damage each second. The speed of the game, such as generators, is increased over the 4v4v4v4 mode. Personally, I think this can be really fun to do, especially if you have a team of four and you're talking to each other and coordinating. I think this can be a really fun game mode to play. Balancing changes. A bunch of smaller changes have been made to the game. Let's take a look at them. The cost of the bridge egg has been reduced from 2 emeralds to 1 emerald in 3 and 4 team modes and from 3 to 2 emeralds in solo and doubles. And this I really appreciate because I think it was too expensive before and I never used it. Now I will actually consider using it from time to time. The cost of water buckets have been reduced from 8 gold to 6 gold in 3 and 4 team modes and from 4 gold to 3 gold in solo and doubles. I never used to use water, I guess that's just because of my playstyle but I like that the price has been reduced on it. I like that. The cost of the knockback stick has been reduced from 10 gold to 5 gold in all modes. They increased the it's a trap from 5 seconds to 8 seconds. And they added jump boost too along with speed to the counter offensive trap also reduced from 15 seconds to 10 seconds. Miscellaneous changes. Now we have a bunch of small changes. For example, this is my favorite. You know when you have been shot with a bow and the arrows are still in your person? Well, the worst thing is being in a bow fight and then drinking an invisibility potion and the arrows are still in you so they can clearly see you. This has been fixed. Now, when you drink an invisibility potion, the arrows are removed from the player. I love this. Also, they have added a player incoming option in the communication menu. So if you use the communication menu quite often and you felt like player incoming was missing, well, it's here now. Also, another thing that has been added, do you want to see your Bedwars level in game? Now you can. Your experience bar will show you your level and your progress to the next level. Also, they have done it so when drinking a potion, any existing potions of the same type will now be overridden. And finally, they added daily wins and final kill to death to, stat, to the stats in PC. Very much appreciated. They have also added a couple more private game settings. You can now disable diamonds and emeralds, which I think is very nice. Also, they tweaked some icons, so yeah. And if you use Badline Client, they have added support for the on-screen tiles at Badline Client. 
I don't know what that is. If someone uses bad light line and know what that is, let me know down below. Maps. We're almost done, except let's not forget the nine new added maps. Now it would be a complete nightmare to find a game in every single map. So you will get an image in front of you showing a bit of how it looks and the name, and then you yourself can go hunt for them in game. Let's take a look at them. First we have the solo and double maps. Ashfire. Krogon. Solace. Zazul. Also sorry if I'm saying these names wrong, but yeah. Then we have the 3v3, v3, v3 and 4v4, v4, v4 maps. Carapace. Dreamgrove. Obelisk. And Unturned. And finally Frost as the new 4v4 map. Only thing I have to say about some of these maps are that they have switched around on the colors. At least on some of them, I'm not sure on all of them, but on some of them they have switched around the colors. Basically the order of the colors or the teams on the map. You know how red and blue are next to each other? Nope. Yellow and green? Nope. They have switched around on the order of the colors or the teams on some of, at least some of the maps. I don't know if they've done it on all of them, but those that have this change really need to get fixed in my opinion. I don't like that and I would appreciate it if it was just the default. Red is next to blue, green is next to yellow, etc. Removed maps. Now, they have also removed a couple of maps as well. They looked at the community map feedback and have removed the lowest rated most disliked maps. Solo and doubles maps are Crypt, Lotus, Playground and Steampunk. These maps have been removed. For 3v3, v3, v3 and 4v4, v4, v4, they have removed Chained, Invasion, Jurassic and Swashbuckle. They have mentioned though that if you like these maps then don't worry, they may return one or two in the future updates to gather more info and aid better design. They're regularly checking the forum for the maps the community would like to see return. Bug fixes. And then there's a bunch of bug fixes which are too long and too many to read out, so I will put them on the screen right now for you to watch and that should be enough time. Next subject, personal notes. That's it, we're done with the update. Though I would like to add a few quick notes of my own and stuff I would like to see fixed in the next Bedwars update. The colors, as I mentioned, please I fix them. Fix the order of the colors are in on the maps where it's wrong. And finally, I don't know if this was a feature at one point, I seem to remember something, but anyways, it would be nice if it was possible to designate specific slots in your hotbar for certain items. So for example, when I buy wool, it always ends up in my second slot, or when I buy shears, that would automatically go to my sixth slot. Basically, let the players organize where the items, when they buy them, pop down in your hotbar. I don't know if this was a thing added at one point, I seem to remember something with it, but yeah, that would be nice. Anyways, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any comments, questions, um, suggestions to something I could do better or anything like that, let me know down in the comments below. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't yet, any of those notifications down below in the description. It's my Twitch, Twitter, and Discord. Check it out. Anyways, hope you enjoyed, and hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.